you know, go to someone great and get a demo made so that you <laughs> Did can... Did you just go like this towards I me? I did. <laughs> Vanna Whited. Over to you. I aged myself again. I'm going to take Amanda. Take <laughs> Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Um, so, did you ever get any advice in your life along the way that you feel like was really a game changer and kind of pivoted you maybe in a different direction that when you think about it, you go, ah, like that was crucial? I think that, I don't know that I got advice along the way, but it's going to sound really corny, but my swim coach was my first and uh, he was my swim coach in high school, Mr. Mm. Anderson. Oh, I know you're Anderson. probably not watching. Hi, Mr. I Anderson. Maybe we could send him a link. We love good I teachers love and him. coaches. Um, yeah. he, he was a mentor to me, not just in swimming, but into my academic life in high school. And so I can't pinpoint anything he said to me, but I definitely had this mentor role um, uh, available to me at a very early age. Mm -hmm. And so I think, I think that's probably why I was able to find the courage to go to Chris and ask her for her help. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, you, yeah. um, and like I said, you know, all she could have said was no. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so it, it, I wouldn't say it's a piece of advice, but it is a, a, a way of, yeah, yeah, a way of, of getting where you need to go. You don't necessarily need to do it all on your own, yeah. you know, build, yeah. build that support system mm -hmm. and, and ask when you're unsure, you know, um, and I really hope to be able to do that for someone one day. Oh, you yeah. already I'm are. I'm sure you, you already, already have. Are. What was many your times. stroke? Oh, I, uh, breaststroke, breaststroke and that 400 meter IM thing oh. or 100 meter. It would be IM. funny if you said, "Oh, I don't swim." Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had my floaties <laughs> and I Marco yeah. No. Polo. <laughs> yeah. Good um, for you. So, so, so when you're working. In a big production mm -hmm. video game, your hours are probably pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and often you are tired. Um, Can you tell? And running oh on low fuels. No, you look beautiful. You are <laughs> do not look tired right now at all. Um, how do you balance that lifestyle with home and your children and your just your daily life? That was it's. I was Is saying, that a trick? God, I hope they don't ask me questions because I don't. <laughs> <balance>. <laughs> I don't balance. I wish I could say I do. <laughs> People who say they have balanced <laughs> are just, I just, wow. I, I heard Rogers, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep going back to Roger because, yeah. gosh, he's well, a very guys, dear friend of mine. I was going to say, you guys are really friend. good friends. Um, and, you know, he's got his photography. Yeah. I have my kids. And mm -hmm. so whenever I feel like things are askew and a little off, I, I really try to just put my focus on my, you know, my children, my husband, and my mm -hmm. really good friends. I'm born and raised in Orange County mm -hmm. um, and then moved up to LA. So I've got some That's really great. amazing friends here yeah. that I feel help ground me, you mm -hmm. know? Um, but in terms of like hobbies, no. There's nothing. Who has time like, for there hobbies? There is no balance. <laughs> so your so hobby is basically... My balance is balancing my children's yes. schedule. Oh, there you That's go. Balancing. Your <laughs> hobby is being fabulous and you're nailing it. Just know, saying. But, but that is real. And, yeah, and it, there's, it is Because real. there are people out there that try so your... hard to like, oh, I got to find balance. I got to find balance. Yeah. And sometimes finding balance is just focusing on something else. Yeah, you yeah. know, It's true. And just knowing Not it's doing never more, going to be... Being become like this easy thing that's perfectly balanced. No, no. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I, yeah, I, I try to get there by, you know, spending time with my children. And I know that Good for you. one day this is all going to end uh, probably, you know, uh, because of a decision I've made, or I hope it's because of a decision I've made. And then I can have more balance. Yeah. But right now it's kind of, you know, you're like, it, we're like actors. You have to ride the ride while the ride is going. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, and so, you just coincidentally happen to enjoy what you do, I which do. is 
I do. A lovely byproduct. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I always say uh, it beats paving roads. Mm. So, yep. I mean, it or really digging is. ditches. Yeah. Or digging ditches or anything like or that. Or laying you hardwood all be so floors. Lucky. I've done that. Lay hardwood Lay floors. Yes. <laughs> And the pneumatic gun that you have to rent isn't available, so you do it one nail at a time. Oh my gosh. Anyway, no. I made it about me. I'm sorry. You did, I Stacey. hit a nerve. I hit a nerve. Apparently, you and hardwood floors have a thing. But it was a nice accomplishment. Um, <laughs> um, what advice could you give the voice actors? There are people out there all over the country, all over the world, yeah. that maybe have been contemplating... I think I really would like to get into the genre of video games for voiceover. So, and given the, the ability that they actually have this talent, mm -hmm. what words of encouragement slash advice could you give them? Okay, um, first and foremost, you know, make sure that you've got some training behind your belt. A lot of times people will, you know, come up to me and say, they say I have the greatest voice that yeah. I should do animation and video games. And I'm like, you do have a really interesting voice. Have you ever taken an acting class? So you guys know, first and foremost, this is acting. And Absolutely. In, in my opinion, it is hard. It is, it is, it is hard because, like we talked about earlier, you have to create that world for yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you really need a strong acting foundation, um, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. After that, um, you know, go to someone great and get a demo made so that you <laughs> did can... you just go like this towards I me? Did. <laughs> Thank you. White did. Oh, Let's to you. I aged myself again. I'm Vanna take White. It. Amanda. <laughs> Um, she's so, timeless, she's Vanna. She's timeless. No she one turns a letter that, like I Vanna. Wonder. Um, <laughs> so go out, get yourself a good demo. Um, and then, you know, it is all about kind of getting yourself in front of casting directors and directors. Some of us do, we'll, we'll do some guest directing um, spots at, at classes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We'll speak at events like E3 and Comic Con. Mm -hmm. There was just a, a conference last week called Game Sound Con that a couple of directors uh, attended. So get yourself in front of people, um, get your demos to them. You know, these classes, the only reason I teach these classes or will go in and guest direct is to find new talent. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, really, it's, it's yeah. I, I'd rather be home with my children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course, but of instead, course. So really, you're, you're doing it I, because yeah, I'm doing maybe it, you can find some new maybe talent. Maybe I can find some new Would talent. Would you like this talent? Would you prefer this talent to have agent representation or does it matter to you? I prefer because it's direct contact. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm already going to said agency to get this other these other three actors on board for the audition. Uh, so it's one phone call as yeah. opposed to having to keep your private stats and, and actually remember you. Yeah, exactly. you know, if you're in their database, then I know, okay, well, yeah, his name's gonna come around again. Right. Exactly. Um, right. So yeah, it is a lot easier when there's professional representation. So for actors watching who are doing auditions, do you have, from the casting side, any do's, don'ts, tips, tricks? Yep. Do, 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 She's sure like, do. I got lots of them. I sure do. Like, not, not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah. Recently, and they've been coming in more from out of the country, people have been putting in... Um, sound effects or sound design oh, yeah. into their Into auditions. the auditions. Uh-huh. That's the negative ghostwriter. Like, just don't ever do that. Don't do it's that. It's very distracting. Mm. Very distracting. Um, that, that would be number one. I yeah. don't get it stateside a lot. Right. But this is an international audience, I yes. would assume. Yeah. Yes. And so that's a no-no. So yeah. you don't and, need to do post-production on your way, post production. I'm just going to throw this in there because I know <laughs> Maybe what they're goes trying on. to help you. The reason why some of these people do that is because they are on some of these pay-to-play sites, which occasionally when doing a narration or a little commercial for one of these small companies, doing that actually helps the buyer kind of hear, ooh, that sounds really good like that. It and it helps them get out. the jobs. But in the world of video game or in the world of professional voice acting, yeah. you know, when you're talking about no the one big needs markets, your help with production. that is like yeah. a huge no-no. Huge no-no. No. Huge no-no. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. Very distracting. As is having someone read with you. I've gotten that recently. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm like, 
<laughs> so, other? Yeah. <laughs> because she has a Brooklyn accent <laughs> and this game is set in the South and that yeah. is weird. Uh, so don't no readers. Do that. Don't put no anybody readers. else on there yeah. except for you. No, 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 no. Um, and I'd say in terms of format, I don't mind, and I'm only speaking for myself. Yeah. I don't mind a couple of different versions. Um, I obviously, you know, put your best foot forward first mm-hmm. um, in version one. Um, maybe say in the very beginning, this is, you know, I'm Amanda Wyatt. I'm going to be giving you two versions so that I know. So that you know there's another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so that there's another one coming up. I also don't really like um, slates in the character voice. I would rather have a slate in your natural mm-hmm. uh, voice print. So you can hear what so that sounds like. So I can hear what that like. sounds like, right. especially if I'm not familiar with you, yeah. you know? Not only that, sometimes hearing the slate, natural mm-hmm. voice, mm-hmm. and then hearing the character almost gives you a little bit of gauge yeah. as to their... Yeah, yeah. their ability. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Because with video games, we're almost 99% of the time going to ask you to do at least three voices, mm-hmm. right? I mean, even if you've landed a lead role, yeah. you've got to be versatile enough to give yeah. me, you know... Zombie Farmer A. Zombie Farmer A. As well. A through A, <laughs> so, man. C. So, so hearing that versatility <laughs> yeah. um, right off the bat, like you said, at the slate is is great. Mm-hmm. So this would be my do's and don'ts. Those are good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Good, Amanda. Oh, thanks. It's Very like thanks. you know what by you're way, talking by about. By the way, we've had lots of casting yes. directors. Mm-hmm. Nobody's ever said that. Yes. And really? That's some new point. Those are some but good But that's a really good points. point because I have mm-hmm. heard people doing that. I'm like, ooh, you can. Yeah, so there yeah. you go. Well, and no. also yeah. in some of the groups and chat rooms, people say, "Oh, you need to do this." And and I've had um, I've seen some postings where people say, "Yes, you need to put those sound beds in." And so a lot of it's like people are perpetuating information based on maybe their one experience, but yeah. it does not mean it's a global yeah. Yeah. trend. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. less is yeah. more. Less is more. Don't hide yeah. the acting. Exactly. Just, mm-hmm. Exactly. And Here, if you could, sorry. And if you could go in to a booth. Uh, where you're in a sound environment, it good. Um, that, that would be <laughs> ideal as yeah. well. You know, we can tell if it's an iPhone recording, actually. Oh, yeah. A trained ear can tell. Yeah. Um, well, we can especially it's... tell when there's like a leaf blower in the background. Oh, gosh, oh. yeah. So, and we'll get those. Yeah. yeah. So put your best foot forward yeah. because yeah. we're putting our best foot forward and this is going to our client, mm-hmm. you know? So take it seriously. The client will does not be want to hear seriously. a leaf yeah. blower. You know? I understand that sometimes it's not ideal, you know? Yeah. Right. But, um, I always try to give about 48 hours to 72 hours notice. Yeah. yeah. So if you haven't been away from a leaf blower for that long, you have a problem. Like exactly. Like you need to find somewhere else to You learn. need yeah. some sort of rehab <laughs> program. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> You're like addicted to that. Yeah. 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 Here's a question sure. for you. Um, <laughs> what about demos? Like, yeah. um, obviously animation and mm-hmm. video games are two completely different genres. Yeah. So when you get a demo in, you just want to hear video game, or do you not mind hearing animation stuff in there as well? No, I love hearing animation as well, because animation um, really ticks that box of versatility, right? Okay. Exactly. You, know, you listen to Fred Tatashore's animation demo, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, what can that man I know. not do? Yeah. 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 Um, so I will almost always, if a video game demo has been submitted to me, or if you know I'm online checking out demos, um, I'll almost always go over to not only their animation, but also their commercial. Because the commercial will give me an idea of their natural voice print, exactly. if I don't know them. The animation shows me their versatility, and the gaming will, you know, if, if it's a good gaming demo, it will run the gamut of having battle chatter voices, so I'll know what your um, yeah. projection level is like, or what your pitch is like at a certain projection level. Yeah, um, and, and also some character work and, and accents. And raw acting. Yeah, right. yep. And raw man, acting. You are naked in video games. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. What are some not so great things you like to not hear on a demo? What would be a this hmm. is not a good demo? I don't know that I have any, you know particular don'ts on demos. I really, really don't. I know that some people build them out with effects mm-hmm. and music, and, and that kind of helps create a world in a space, you know? I'm, I'm kind of okay with all of that. It's hard to please everyone, you of know course. what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, actors yeah, have put is. forth a lot of, you know, some cash to put this mm-hmm. demo together. Yeah. So um, 
I can look between mm -hmm. on the demos. I'm a little bit more particular on the how much, auditions. How much do you want to hear accents, dialects, and that kind of range? I love to hear strong accents. Strong in dialect. Now, are we strong. putting a lot of emphasis strong. on strong? I'm putting a lot of emphasis strong on strong. Strong is bold face, not yes. quotes. I am yeah. putting a lot of emphasis on strong because I am not a dialect coach. I am not a dialectician. Mm -hmm. I understand some of the nuances of some of the more popular um, dialects that are used in video games, but I am in no way an expert. So we've hopefully hired you for your ability to be that expert. Mm -hmm. If you're not, I always um, try to pitch that we bring on a dialect coach, but that dialect coach can't be Teach there you how to really? do it. Yeah. yeah, you hold your hand for the four hours that you're in the booth. Yeah. It's it's to you know point out little nuances and hopefully that dialogue coach is only there for maybe your first and second session, and then yeah. I've understood your pitfalls maybe, and yeah. so then we can yeah. get there together. But yeah, being very strong and confident on your accents is um, great. Beautiful. And are there times Ideal. when there's an accent required on a certain character, and you guys just say, you know what, let's get the real thing here. Let's not even mess around with it. Yes. Yeah? Uh, yes. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't come from me that much. Okay. It'll come from the developer side I of things. See. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of times, what I'll say is, are you sure you want the real deal on that, you know, Venezuelan accent? Yeah. Because you may... Or a Japanese guy with a really bad English accent. Right. Well, <laughs> right, right, right. right. You gotta right. find that guy. So, sometimes the accents can be so distinct uh -huh. that you do have to weigh do you, are you, do you, do want, you want the, the real accent? Of it. Yeah. Or do you want a better performance? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it, because it, you often Okay, so can't you gotta weigh the two. Both. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I always kind of tend to Good side to know. on the performance and and the pedigree of the actor as opposed to, we've really got this guy from yeah, the past the part. part of yeah. the Congo, yeah. you know? Yeah. So when are you the happiest in your life, Amanda? Uh, you guys would make me cry. Um, I am the happiest when I'm with my kids yeah. and my husband. Yeah, I love what I do. As you should be. Yeah, yeah, right? I mean, that should be <laughs> everything. No, it makes sense. We always said Jerry Jerry family yeah. for us. You would have everything. no balance yeah. if you weren't. Right, no. right. Family, I, family I, really is yeah. everything. Yep. Whether it's your given or chosen, it's it's everything. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I love, 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 love what I do. And I feel so blessed to have come this far in my career. And never in a million years would I have thought, oh, I'm going to be a director of voiceover in video games. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, but I've, I've done that and I'm extremely proud of what I've done. But when I look at my kids, that's what makes me the most yeah. proud. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a next chapter for you? Like something that, you know, maybe after video games, something that you want to conquer? Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm right in that okay. questionable age range where you start to think about those things. <laughs> questionable <laughs> age Like range. maybe an invention or um, like you're going to go on Shark Tank. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I grabbed the banister because yeah. I was. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's It's definitely not... The end all for me. All I right. would definitely like to do, put my stamp on something yeah. else. Yeah, and I don't well, maybe know what the that next is. time we have you back, you'll stay tuned. You'll maybe I'll share. teach yoga and you'll share. Maybe. Maybe. you never know. <laughs> maybe this question is going we'll to reveal, reveal it. Oh my God, okay. Okay, <laughs> any card you would like? Any card. This one just peeked. Do I look at it or do I? You have to look I, at oh, it because you have to read it, I'm Amanda. I'm asking it <laughs> myself. I understand. I could read it to you if you prefer. <laughs> Would you like me to read it to you? Ooh. Um, what's the biggest question you have about the future? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to go globally. Okay. Because that is. Um, Good. That's on Let's everybody's mind topic. right now, yes. isn't it? Yes. Yes. Um, you know, having kids, I do wonder a lot about, this is going to be so boring. No, it's but I, not. I I'm already interested. I do wonder about the truth and the impact of climate change, mm. you know, um, because what, just this week that uh, the 
the article came out about us having 20 more years before there's this mm -hmm. significant impact. And um, when you're a mom, you know, and my little boy is only five years old, Yeah. you know, so I think, what is this planet going to be like in another mm -hmm. 20, 20 years, years for him? Because yeah. you remember going to the beach and being able to like slather baby oil on yourself and just maybe yes. you'd get a little burn. A little kiss. Right? Yeah. But now you put 55 on and you're out for an hour and you were like, Blister. beat red, got to go. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So uh, to me, there's no denying this is happening. And um, it's a question I have as to, you know, what, what will... What will this be like for my kids? What will it be like for my grandkids and my great grandkids? Yeah. It's a yeah. global question and it's a good question. Yeah. And thank you for even posing that question oh, no. because that's we have uh, to do something. it's heavy, but it's real. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we need yeah. to think about it. Yeah. Sorry. In I, the meantime, yes, in, in the, the meantime, meantime we are going to keep adoring you. Yes. You're going to keep you. doing your amazing work and putting all of your beautiful energy into the world, which we so appreciate. Uh, um, so. And if that doesn't cure, the climate, then I don't know what was. Absolutely. <laughs> Just saying. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, both and, of you. Um, that was, it was so much fun. Well, that's all we have. That was the end of part two with Amanda Wyatt. And uh, I have to say that, first of all, I've heard so many casting directors and people talk about the video game industry, and mm -hmm. I've learned a lot today. So yes. thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Absolutely. Love it. And we're going to be back next week with another brand new episode of VO Buzz Weekly. So check it out. Yes. And follow all of us on social. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always have, have time for a little buzz. Hi, I'm Amanda Wyatt, and I just got buzzed with Stacy and Chuck. Do you like how I switched that? Girl power. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.